Hello, it's Lorraine Appleyard and thank you very much for joining me today. In this discussion, I want to talk to you a little bit about the spring equinox and what does this mean for you spiritually and emotionally and how can you use this to bring about the changes for yourself that will work for your highest good. So let's delve into this further. Before we get started, please do be sure to subscribe to my channel and to like and share it. I appreciate all of your engagement and I look forward to reading any of your comments that you leave behind. So we are officially now in springtime and the equinox occurred on March the 20th of this year. The spring equinox is a really a joyful holiday and it is centered around the concepts of rebirth and growth. It is the arrival of spring, and at this time the earth becomes alive once again. What I have found in my spiritual journey, one of being a mystic, that I have studied the roots of many religions, and I find it the most interesting that the spring equinox coincides with the Christian observance of Easter and of the Jewish observance of Passover. So we would understand that there are roots here to the spring equinox that have been seen in many different cultures across all times. Rather than roots, I should say there is a significance that has its roots in many different cultures and religions over the ages. The spring equinox starts the zodiac wheel with the Aries sign, and as I said, it brings in growth, new life, and sunshine. On the equinoxes, the days and the nights are equal in all parts of the world. It is a celebration that most cultures cluster around these same natural turning points, which is why we see them being observed in all different cultures and religions, because there is this recognition that there is something of great significance that is occurring astrologically. In the pagan observance, they also call this austera, and it is symbolized by the symbol of the egg. And we see this again carried over in the Christian religion with the Easter bunny and with eggs. So this is really just borrowing from pagan symbolism to be able to move it into the new predominant religion of the time. So during this time when the day and night and the dark and the light are an equal length. There is this idea that's ancient that we are beginning to throw off that darkness, that we are beginning to wake up to the light again. And traditionally there have been rituals of spring cleaning. That is truly where we get that idea from, spring cleaning, and cleaning out all that no longer serves us and making a way for the new to come at this time also. When the sun continues to grow at this time, we're moving into the light that's growing and it will continue to grow until the summer solstice when it begins to turn inward again. With the spring equinox, your spirit, your soul is waking up to new ideas and new dreams for your life. It's like this new energy is being poured into you and it does have the power to make you feel inspired and alive after especially the dark winter months. Just as the egg breaks open in the symbolism of Easter, this is encouraging you to be reborn at this time and to embrace new beginnings. The energy of the spring will support you and fuel your growth, especially as the days get longer and the sun gets warmer. 
We can be thankful for the end of winter, and winter sometimes, especially towards the end, can feel a little rocky. There's this shift of energy from the inward focus to an outward focus once again, and it can sometimes make you feel a little bit ungrounded and off kilter. But with the balancing of the light and the dark, symbolized by the equinox, it will bring this much needed balance into your own life. And with the ancient axiom, as within, so without, just as nature is becoming reborn, parts of you are becoming reborn and coming alive in a way that you have never felt before. Spring does represent a new day. It is a new dawn in the wheel of the year. So be mindful which seeds you're going to plant in the ground at this time to gestate and take root and grow. We do this in the physical and symbolically for us to plant seeds for ourselves in our mind and in our soul. Be mindful to be clear on where you want to go and where you want to grow. You do have the power to transform your life. But if you are not clear on where to focus your energy, it can sometimes feel chaotic and overwhelming. And your energy may get pulled in many different directions and it will burn you out. So be really clear on where you want to go. Set those intentions and write them down. Review those intentions from time to time. In the beginning, you may want to do it on a daily basis or even throughout the day. So it may be a benefit to put it on a board where you may see it throughout the day as you go along your way to remind you of your intentions and to bring your mind to that focus where your attention will make it grow. You may even wish to make an altar of sorts to create a space that's dedicated just for your new intentions of this season. You may place within this space bright colors and plants and herbs that promote growth and healing. And all over the world, cultures use fire in their celebrations. So light a candle, safely of course, as you are writing down your intentions. Light a candle on your altar or your special place and let it burn if it's safe to do so throughout the day, if you're around to watch it, to have that burn and set the energy for your intentions. And those flames release it into the into the universe or go outside and have a bonfire and set your intentions as you're lighting the fire to clear away all that is old and no longer serves you to use the fire to burn away anything that is old and outworn to make way for the new and as I mentioned before spring cleaning is a big one we all know this, and you may even look forward to the spring cleaning, even though some of you may really dread this time. Cleaning, when you're doing your cleaning, open up the windows to let the fresh air and energy in. Play music as you're doing this, and let all of the old energy that's stagnant within your home clear away as you welcome in the new energy. You may feel that there are a lot of new ideas that are really calling out to you. And there can be seeming to be a buzz of new life around you. Be mindful of what it is that excites you right now. What are you interested in? What do you feel drawn towards? Approach your daydreams with a childlike manner. Use this childlike spirit to be able to go towards your daydreams. Have fun. Just go for it. Don't overthink it. This lighthearted approach will help to carry your energy through 
to manifestation. Remember, you are a powerful manifester. You have the power to transform your life. Anything that you really want to bring into your life, be clear on it. Where do you want to see this new growth? And be ever mindful that where you place your attention, where you place your energy, that's what grows. So be clear on where you want to place your energy. Clear away all of those old shadows within your mind, within your soul. And take a few moments to be outside and let the light pour over you and cleanse you and allow you to be reborn. This is a beautiful time of the year, this new beginning. And allow yourself to fully immerse yourself in this energy of now. I thank you very much for listening. Once again, my name is Lorraine Appleyard and this is Soul Light Solutions. Please again, remember to like and subscribe and do share. And I wish you very many blessings and may you walk with spirit. Bye for now.